You're watching Victory Outdoors. Hey folks, here it is Saturday, May 17th. Uh, I've got Sam Peterson out here helping me. Day two of the food plot that we're working on. Um, you know, I came out here yesterday, we had the skid loader and finished clearing off everything that was in here. Last winter we'd started, we just, it took all day, we got all the trees cut, started moving them, ran out of time. So now that we're back in here, yesterday I just kept pushing trees out of the way. So today, Sam got his disc out and we're out here working it up. We'll have it planted within the next hour or two. Um, this disc is actually a really good disc. So, uh, you know, I've got some Monster Racks clover that we're gonna plant, which is right next to an alfalfa field, so we'll see how good this does. Uh, and then we do have a few other, we got some beans we're gonna plant and some corn as well. So stay tuned. Uh, throughout the day, we're gonna show you a little bit more that we're doing, so. The crazy thing about this food plot is, it all started off just like this. There was pine trees everywhere. There was just mangles and mangles of stuff. Uh, yesterday, I actually was in here with the skid loader and got a lot of it cleared off. So it's not nearly as bad to work. And this disc is working great. So, I mean, you go from this, and when you have about 10 acres of these, there comes a point in time where you say, well, maybe we should get a little bit of a food plot in here. So. You know, uh, like I said, we got this going and it should be a killer spot. I mean, we've already got two stands that are gonna be close, probably put up one more that I know is gonna be in a good spot. So um, we also put up the trees as acting like a fence to make it where they can only enter at certain spots. That'll help us pinpoint our kill areas, so to speak, and go from there. So as this progresses throughout the day, we're gonna cut in and bring you different updates and things like that so um, you know I'm sure we're gonna have more people out here by the end of this as well so should be fun out here planting our food plot today we're gonna be putting in monster axe extreme clover um, I have little doubt about it. I mean, I know it's going to be a great product and it's going to draw the deer in. However, I also have an alfalfa field wrapped all the way around us. So that being said, um, you know, it hopefully it does its job and keeps the deer in here as opposed to going out there. Uh, we got a lot of stray eyes that watch this property. So if I can keep them in, in cover, that's what I'm going for. And that's, I'm really hoping that this monster ax will do that for us. Um, we're also going to plant some beans in here for late season, so it's going to be a fairly big food plot. It's about an acre, acre and a half right now. It was supposed to be about two acres, but um, you know, time runs out, and you got to get in what you can get in. So this is what we're going to do. And um, you know, I want to thank Monster Axe for Extreme Clover. Victory Outdoors is proudly presented by Twisted Timber Tree Stands, Monster Racks, Long Beard Life, Carbon Synergy, Red Hill Outdoorsman, Watson Airlock, Personal Camera Buddy, Mossy Oak, and Scout Look Weather.